Hello everybody, glad to see you. Today, we're going to talk about fasteners. In this example, we have two parts A and B. It is fixed fastener. We are going to use M10. We don't know what, what should be the whole diameter for part A. For part A and B, we can see we are going to have the same TZ, it is 0 0.8. And for part B, the projected TZ is considered. That's why in the formula, we don't need to consider the effect of not having projected TZ. H equal to diameter of fastener plus T1 and T2. T1 and T2 are equal. We are going to say 2T. The Fastener diameter, the maximum value of that is 10. We have the value of T, and then we are going to calculate the minimum whole diameter for part A. It is 11.6. In this example, again, we are going to have two parts, A and B. We are going to use M10. As we can see, for part A, we don't know what should be the whole diameter. We have T1, 0 0.5, and T2 is let's say one here the projected tz is considered that's why we don't need to consider this p in this formula h equal to f plus t1 plus t2 f is maximum diameter of fastener it is 10 t1 is 0 0.5 t2 is 1 we can see here we can calculate what should be the whole diameter for part a it is 11.5 mm in this example, again, we are going to have two parts, A and B. We don't know what should be the whole diameter for part A. And T1 is 0 0.5 and T2 it is 0 0.5. Here we can see for part B, the projected TZ is not considered. That's why we need to consider this effect of not having projected TZ in the formula. We are going to use this formula. F again, it is maximum diameter of the pin, it is 10. T1, it is 0 0.5. T2 is 0 0.5. And P is 15. It is maximum pin diameter, uh, pin projection. And D is the depth of the pin in part B. Let's say it is 20. And then we can calculate what should be the whole diameter for part A. It is 11.75. Last example for today is to calculate unknowns with the number of 1, 2, 3, 4. We are going to use this bolt. The size of the bolt is, let's say, 0 0.25 inch. At the beginning, in the first step, we are going to consider the maximum diameter of the hole for top part. Here, by using the standard tables, we can calculate what should be the head of the bolt. It is 0 0.425. And the size of the bolt is 0 0.25. And half of these two values, it comes here in this formula, as we can see. We can calculate the LMC, maximum hole diameter for top part. It should be 0 0.337. Let's consider it is 0 0.29. It should be between 0 0.25 and 0 0.337 for this step let's consider something between 0 0.29 whenever we are going to calculate this value 0 0.29 when we make minus the size of the bolt it is 0 0.25 we can calculate the total tz it is 0 0.04 as you can see here now we are we have the total TZ. Let's say 60% of this total TZ 
is related to the threaded hole. Normally, it is between 60% to 75% or 60% to 70%. Let's consider 60%. In this manner, we are going to calculate unknown number 2. We can calculate the TZ for threaded hole. It is 60% of the total TZ. It is 0 0.024. Unknown number three, let's consider zero because here we have MMC. When we consider zero for that, we are going to cover all tolerance available. Now we have calculate number one, number two, number three, and then we are going to calculate number four by this formula H equal to F plus T1 plus T2. H is MMC, minimum size of the hole for top part. In this manner, at the bottom we can see, in this manner we can calculate MMC for hole diameter in, par, in top part, for top part. Here we have calculated all four unknowns. Let's see what we can do. We have this table here. Based on the size of the drill, we are going to have this table. If I'm going to use drill with the letter of the L, last line, we are going to make this hole 0 0.29. It is vertical number. Whenever we are going to make this hole, it is a little bit greater than this value. That's why I'm going to use the drill the letter of the K, one step before. I'm going to use this drill with the letter of the K. I'm going to make a hole 0 0.285. It is theoretical value. It can be a little bit greater than this value. That's why I'm going to consider um, the hole by using this drill with the letter of the K. It is 0 0.283. Here, if I'm going to make this hole, and this is LMC, and we have LMC for the hole, it is 0 0.274, we can calculate we have this TZ for top part. However, whenever we are going to consider zero, by having this MMC, we are going to cover this value for sure. Here, we have this whole diameter, 0 0.283. Whenever I'm going to make minus with the diameter of the bolt, it was 0 0.25. It is 0 0.033. It is total TZ. We can compare here with this here. Previously, we have considered the TZ, the total TZ, it is 0 0.04. Now it is 0 0.033 and then we have considered 60 percent of the total tolerance zone previously it was 0 0.024 whenever i'm going to divide by this value we can see i have considered already 70 percent of the total tz for threaded hole it is okay but if you would like to be maximum 70% of that. In this manner, it is good to increase this value, 0 0.29, the LMC for, for top part, for the hole at top part. If we increase that one, we can decrease this 73%. But it is okay, I can say, because still it is less than 75%. For now, I would like to close this session. In coming session, again, I'm going to continue talking about this fastener and this position control. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.